first thing I had to do was to repair this hammer that was cracked in two. Luckily the split was vertical, not horizontal, so it was easy to repair. Just some string to hold it in and some glue, wood glue. Some of the hammers were stiff, which is causing problems with the double hitting the note. So uh, the client did complain about that. And so I set about working out um, what it was, taking the action out of the piano. And then there the action is on the floor and all the parts on the floor. And the people were surprised and I had to put it back together again. And just some Protec, which is piano lubricant on the hammer hinges so it can roll properly. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you some of the hammers. Some of them sound harder than others. The ones I toned on the left and the ones I haven't toned and voiced on the right. Also I did some let off adjusting, which is how far away the hammer can go before it touches the string. The further the better without double bouncing. Also some lost motion uh, regulation, which you can see Lost motion is when you see those parts moving before the hammer moves, that's lost movement. When you press the key, it should move together with the hammer. So here I am taking out the key, and I couldn't do it inside the piano, or I didn't have, it's, for me it's easy sometimes to take it out. And so you have to be careful when you put it back in again. And there you go, the lost motion removed the hammer moving with the key.